Hello and welcome to episode one of the PR Rules podcast. My name is Rhys Gregory and today I'm joined by my colleague, Kieran Hiscox, who is Effective's videographer. And we'll be talking about Twitter X, what's changed so far, what hasn't actually changed, and why we think Twitter is being rebranded as X. And ultimately, what does this mean for your business? And do you need to do anything right now? So we, we've obviously been talking about Twitter X yes. and what this means for for businesses. Yeah. So I'm coming from this as like someone who's not used Twitter in like seven years. So like all this is like brand new to me. Is like I have no idea what's going on. But I, I think that's probably really good to get your perspective because mm. I think just just like you have, I think lots of businesses as well have actually kind of left mm. Twitter. I think there's there's that constant battle, isn't there, about number of active users. Yeah, I, I can't remember how many millions Twitter last reported oh, that goodness. had left. Yeah, yeah. But, you know, instead of being... I don't even think they're in the top three now, are they? I mean, it's still got loads. It's still got hundreds of millions it's, of, of I, users. Well, they used to be, like, the place to be, really. And now it's like... I don't know if it's because of... I think it was dropping before Elon come on anyway. Mm. Oh, yeah. Ha- so, like... Absolutely. It seemed like a poison chalice... Yeah, quite. Bef- before, but now it's like seems to be even worse, and just things are just. I think people are just jumping to other platforms they find. Yeah, more user friendly. It, it's interesting, isn't it? Because I guess the the whole point of what we're talking about here in terms of why Twitter mm. is now X and and so on is actually where you've said that you no longer use Twitter. Mm. I think all of these changes are designed in some way, to try and attract users back to the platform. He's not doing it on purpose, is he? Mm. To, he he's obviously a businessman. He's, he's not trying to destroy the site in any way and want less users using the site. I think they're just yeah. in this transition period, aren't they? Mm. Despite uh, people believe he is doing this on purpose to destroy whatever he's doing, but obviously... He's a businessman with a plan. I don't know mm. what data he's got to change his name to X or yeah, limiting it, views or anything like. I I don't know the pool yeah. engine of it. Yeah, I I think whenever a business gets taken over, like what's happened with with Twitter, um, there's 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 going to be some change, isn't mm. there? And I I think the the issue that people people have and with brands people get kind of emotionally invested mm-hmm. with them that's they they see themselves as like an extension of that brand yeah so when somebody does come in and says right actually i'm just going to change the name of it overnight then people obviously get a bit offended and there, there are going to be some users that will get put off and want to leave maybe because of some of these changes but ultimately I think he's he's obviously doing it to try mm. and attract people back. I don't know what demographic he's trying to attract to the platform, but yeah, because yeah. it literally to me from outside in looked like it was a literally overnight. It was Twitter the next. There was no like we're going to be launching in like a couple of months as like a nice easy mm. like period to ease in. It was just bam just yeah. X, and I was like. Yeah. Everyone was like, what? So if we roll back the clock ever so slightly. So this all kind of kicked off on July 23rd. Mm. Um, early hours, I think, UK time, uh, which I think was a Sunday. Mm. Um, and it all just started with this series of tweets where um, Elon Musk was saying that, oh, um, I, th- I think he started talking about the, the bird disappearing. Yeah. The iconic blue Twitter Bird symbol mm. that everybody kind of uh, knows. Um, 
And I think he just kind of led this kind of trail of breadcrumbs to say, oh, you know, it might not always be the case. And that obviously mm. sparked up a bit of a conversation. Um, and then he started to reveal, okay, well, I, I might, if, if you post a good enough X logo, we'll use that for Twitter and that'll be, that'll be the new logo. Wait, so um, he asked people to design him the X logo. Yeah, he did. I'm, I'm not sure if he actually chose somebody's <laughs> actual logo, but he certainly kind of fueled yeah. and sparked getting people okay. to think about X and what it looked like. And as you can imagine, there's loads of examples online where people have tried to put an X on the bird or... Yeah, like WWF a, yeah. put the X over the bird as yeah. like a little marketing thing, and I, I thought that was pretty genius. Yeah. And like but, I said, there was this... I think it was over the course of an hour. It had gone from... yeah hinting that change could be on the way at some point to actually, if I get a good enough logo, he's just going to change it. Yeah, it seemed really impulsive. Like, literally, just like the next day, there was this X thing. Because then Threads launched. A couple relative, of weeks? Yeah, yeah relatively. Weeks yeah. So, like, that sparked off a whole different, like, arms race in, like, social... Yeah. Like Mark Zuckerberg and him rivalry and whatever, but it was like and a weird time on the internet for like yeah. about two weeks. I'm 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 pretty confident that obviously, as you said, these things don't happen overnight. There's there's mm. there'd be a million conversations around these these things. I guess what Elon Musk is really good at, he's his own marketing machine. Oh yeah, we've seen it with Tesla, SpaceX, and and so on. That this. This is just his marketing channel. This is what he's done to, yeah. in his own way, rather than one person it's just spending, saying, I'm going to change it. Yeah. There was a bigger... Spend of spending all the money on a marketing team. He's just him. And he's got yeah. like this weird fan base as well of like all... like you know I don't know if you can be fans of billionaires because I find that concept pretty weird. But like this isn't the first time he's tried X as a company name because it's obviously spacex but yeah. i think he wanted to rename so he, he's always had this or from what we what we see online it always seems to have had this kind of love affair with the x symbol mm. um you obviously see it in the the kind of the tesla model mm. lineup as well um and i i believe it was being reported that a number of years ago he actually or he had I think his company was X, wasn't it? X.com. Yeah. It then had this merger thing with PayPal. And since leaving PayPal, he's then bought the X.com domain back, which now yeah. redirects to Twitter, of course. Yeah. I don't know what his fascination with this. He's just like trying to prove that it works, but it's actually like really dumb. I, I don't know. I, I guess the difficult thing is, and again, these things happen over time. It's like when the first iPhone comes out or mm. they change the iPhone name to X. They have their yeah, to, it's, to it's a X, theme. They? Um, that everybody's like, oh, no, I can't picture. Mm. I'm never going to be able to. I'm never going to be able to call a tweet an X. Can you? How, how do you have a conversation and go, I'm going to go post this on X or... Yeah, oh, I saw your exes, which is yeah. <laughs> What's that about? <laughs> yeah, um, so I don't quite, I don't quite get it. But then, if you look at, you look at say Channel Four, mm. and I think actually Channel Four tweeted them back about yeah. like basically good luck with the rebrand, um, and that obviously stems from back in the days of Four OD, Four On Demand. I still call it Four yeah, OD. <laughs> yeah, me too. Me too. Um, and and that, that, that was the point they were trying to make. Whereas now it's the official name is all four, but people mm. will always call it yeah four OD. Yeah. Or... So and I I think that was I I can't remember how many years ago it was six seven years something like that. Yeah, it's been a while. So if if it's been all those years and people still call it four OD, mm. then I can imagine in the future we're probably still going to call it a tweet or Twitter. I I Twitter think... X. Maybe we'll just call it the two things Twitter yeah. X. I, I think it's because oh, it's brand new. It's going. I think it's going to be known as Twitter for a long, long until it probably collapses and just fades away. Because it might. Who knows? Yeah. 
but yeah it, but you think about you think about all and again this stems from kind of what's we could talk a little bit out about kind of what's actually happened mm. and to date not a lot has actually happened he's he's changed the logo mm. fine he'd been making some changes to the platform yeah but um, the 600 limits 600 yeah. tweets does that cause yeah. that includes when you just scroll in i i, I as think well? so I, yeah. I don't actually yeah uh, that's that's my understanding of it so like 600 probably adds up quite quickly when you're just flicking through because what you see like 10 tweets every like swipe yeah you keep going and then all of a yeah. sudden and they say there's again i think many millions and yeah. millions of tweets posted every second of the day yeah but but they, they must have data somewhere to say only on average the average person will only see a hundred tweets or two hundred tweets before yeah. logging off again. I, I, they, they must have some. Yeah, it must be born out of some type of idea. You, you would hope it is, because yeah. otherwise, it just seems like they plucked a number. Yeah, and was like, I'm sure that's, isn't there. That's, that seems like big enough, really. Yeah, where they actually gone, or maybe it's not actually big enough. It, yeah, I, I can't imagine they would really, because again, they, I think they would lose. What I think they would lose their existing active users and potentially mm. lose whatever users they're trying to attract if people kept hitting that wall yeah. and it didn't go past the point. Like I think there was a drop off with the whole lot of changes because you could buy pay for Twitter blue. Yeah, which which I have done on one of my accounts. How how was how um, was the process? Other than giving you the the process is really easy. You, yeah, you pay them you just get a, a, a tenner a month. It gives wow. you a blue tick. Um, it's <laughs> supposed to it's supposed to help boost the reach of your your posts, which again is just another problem. That's that's almost like an ep- episode in its in itself. So it feels like Twitter's almost becoming like pay to win social kind of. media. Whereas I, I again I just find I pay. Ten pounds a month, mm. and looking at my stats, I don't notice any difference in in terms. Interesting, of, yeah. But <laughs> you get a blue tick. It shows you're kind of semi-verified. Maybe yeah. it's like when you get put on one of those suckers lists. Where what if list? you get a suckers list, there's you know, if you get scammed, you kind of oh, okay. apparently you then get labelled as this person's easy. Oh, okay, maybe yeah, yeah, maybe yeah. that's just us putting our hands up to say, I, I'm willing to pay a tenner. For a blue like, badge. I'm a mug. I'm yeah. going to pay £10 yeah. for Who, who else tech? wants to offer me a, a blue badge somewhere That's else mad. for another tenner? Yeah. I, I don't know. But I think, I guess, going back a little bit, he's obviously a very clever businessman. Yeah, he's made a lot of money. I'm yeah, like, yeah, yeah. Fair bit. I, be nice to have clever a slash well. being ruthless. I, I don't know, but you become <laughs> but, a billionaire for a reason, yeah. don't you? And he, he's obviously paid maybe top whack. Twitter from again everything you see in the news and he obviously needs to make this into a profitable machine somehow so again we won't go into what he's done in terms mm. of headcount and, and everything else mm. but I think where we see this kind of um, Twitter or tweet X post mm. limit whatever we're going to call it um, I think it's it's about stopping businesses so software businesses that pull in tweets from an API. Mm. So know when you, um, it's like some of the tools that we use, no like media monitoring, yeah. social media monitoring tools. There's um, something, as you know, called like API, mm. uh, where it's, it's, it's how that piece of software connects to, say, Twitter to take data from it. Yeah. Um, and there's always been limits on um, the number of calls you can make to Twitter to say, I need another piece of data. I need another piece of data. Okay. So I think what he's trying to do is he's potentially, in my opinion, he's probably just trying to clamp down on those instances mm. and trying to, if you are going to use Twitter data in something commercial that you're doing, yeah. then he's trying to clamp on, down on that to try and actually get some revenue from those businesses that are making money from So he just wants to Twitter. sell it himself rather than... Uh, giving yeah. it away freely. Yeah, I get yeah, I <laughs> potentially. Potentially. So I think that's where we're seeing the 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 tweet X yeah. post. Is I think that's been from. it was extended now to like a lot more 
I don't know if it's scrapped or because he he said it was yeah. temporary for now, but then sometimes they say that and it never goes away. Yeah, maybe, maybe he's trying to maybe, maybe he's trying to shut down a few businesses. I don't know. <laughs> or or actually, um, I, I said about I may be picking unfairly there on businesses and software companies, but you do get a lot of robots, a lot of mm. fake accounts, which obviously Twitter is known for, and. I actually it, it's across all platforms, but Twitter in particular seems to get picked on the most yeah. for these kind of robotic accounts. Um, so, so maybe that that that's part of it as well. Mm. And the same for these these blue badges. Yes, you're paying a tenner, and they promise to kind of kind of promote your or prioritize some of your content over others, mm. um, which I guess is just an added benefit. But I guess it's all stems back down to verification and. Mm. Um, Although the verification only seems to be if you have a credit card, you seem to have yeah. a blue tick. There's rather no than cap any on. sort of ID checks or anything. Because um, I remember early when you could buy, because you could change your name to anyone. And I think people would like change their names to like Barack Obama, buying a blue tick and just tweeting or replying to people mm. as yeah. obviously a fake account. But like some people might think it's real because, you know, some people don't look into like yeah quite because they take it on fact value blue tick the name, which is really mm. weird. But like, so with all these changes, what does it mean for like businesses that want to use Twitter? Do you think? I guess at at the moment, not a lot has actually changed. Mm. I think if you're a a business user using Twitter, then other than seeing the logo change mm. in the top corner of your screen. And when you log on, it's now an X and not a little bird. Um, you probably won't have noticed any changes. Mm. And like I said, I, I, I'm pretty sure that 600 X post Twitter post view limit, um, you're probably never going to hit anyway. Mm. So I think nothing has changed. At some point, you're going to probably want to change the, if you've got social icons on your website, so you've got your little Facebook yeah. icons, you've got your LinkedIn icons, you've probably got one for Twitter. I imagine at some point you're going to be looking to... To swap it to an X. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. But I mean, I think there's, there's still plenty of pages on the X website, mm. the Twitter website, yeah. that actually are still branded Twitter pages. So yeah. we've looked at um, brand guidelines. Are there any brand guidelines at the moment? I in the last week, I've not seen any. And I'm pretty sure the only brand guidelines i found are about this bird. Yeah, they might just drop randomly on a Sunday, 1 o'clock in the morning yeah. or something. Or randomly. Yeah. Considering how the brand changed in like a short amount of time. Yeah. And it, yeah. It's probably evolving yeah. consistently. And, and, and that's what happens, isn't it? The bird was never the bird that you have seen it until mm. recently. It That's evolved as well. And I imagine... They're probably working to maybe they are trying to catch up a bit. Maybe maybe mm. maybe it did take people by surprise. Yeah. But maybe it wasn't planned. Who who knows? Um, I guess the the bigger one will be oh, so talking about social icons, again, eventually you're gonna want to change it to an X. Mm. It's probably not the only place it sits on. It's probably in your email signatures. Mm. So it might be a good opportunity to kind of relook at those. Mm. You may even have it on business cards. You may even have it yeah. on. You think about when you see um, lots of vans and lorries going around, um, and they've got their they've got their branding, their company branding on. Quite often, you'll see a little yeah. Twitter icon here and there. So at some point, they're gonna need to change that. But really, if if we're still talking about the whole kind of four OD thing mm. and all four thing, I I think if people still see a little picture of a bird in your your Twitter yeah. X username. And I think they're going to kind of know what, what platform you're on. Yeah. So, like, designers ain't rubbing their hands together, getting more work for just changing a bird to an X. No, I, I, <laughs> I, not just yet, anyway. Um, yeah. the, the interesting thing will be, of course, where um, Elon Musk does own X.com and it mm. currently redirects to Twitter.com, but Twitter.com is still the actual site. Yeah. Um, I wonder if at some point they'll switch the address on that. Because, mm. because if they do... That's when you'll you'll have to update your links. Yeah. yeah. X.com forward slash Fcom PR. Doesn't quite have the same ring yeah. to it. No, It'd it's be a bit shorter. It's a bit shorter. Yeah, good for character yeah. count, but I don't yeah. think that 
matters anymore. But... No, exactly. Um, yeah, and, and at the moment, like, like the rest of the world, it is kind of, kind of wait, watch, mm. see what happens next. We all seem to be on this roller coaster. Yeah. Um, but what I would say is, um, as as apprehensive as a lot of people are, like we've talked about here, and you said you've already kind of left the platform anyway oh, a yeah. number of years ago. I've been off it for a while. Yeah. And I'm sure, you know, as we do lots of kind of reporting for, for clients on, on social media activity and where we have seen this decline in mm. reach on on lots of accounts, mm. um, what he is doing may seem very disruptive, but he is his own marketing machine. Mm. Um, and ultimately, the idea will be to attract users back to the platform um, again, don't know quite what demographic that's going to look like, <laughs> but um, it it's all kind of I hate the phrase the greater good, but yeah. he, he's obviously not doing this just to destroy the platform. It's just evolving mm. as 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 we as we know it. So you know, they, you know, if you are a business and you're on there, yeah, stick around and see what happens. Yeah. I guess the the platform hasn't had many updates. Not, for some time anyway. not to my knowledge so like yeah. where do you see like twitter in like a couple of years time like do you think it's just going to be a gone it's going to be on fire everyone's jumped to like threads maybe because their users yeah. went up a lot but that was yeah. i think it's kind of petered out and just yeah leveled i think people have obviously been looking for quite a while for this this space to be filled this mm. kind of simplistic kind of short sentence, short phrase and a link or an image mm. platform. Yeah. Um, and I think there's obviously been a lot of negativity in the press, which hasn't helped keep users. Mm. Um, yeah. So it's, it, it, yeah, it is difficult, but they're, they're trying to find, they're trying to evolve their space. And if they're mm. the first ones to have had this kind of type of, social media content then i'm 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 pretty sure with their knowledge and experience they're probably best place to do it mm. we can uh, perhaps maybe if, if if people want to know a little bit more about freds we we cover it cover it next time yeah um there's some interesting things going on with some of the other platforms which mm. probably won't quite have enough time to, yeah. to cover it all in this um but yeah there's there's Lots of competition. Lots of these platforms have, you know, probably stayed the same for quite a while. No, yeah. no big changes. I think Facebook's biggest change that I can remember years ago was changing the, the home feed. Well, they changed to Meta as well. But yeah, again, everyone still calls it. Well, I think it's still known as Facebook. Yeah. But like the company's the, changed. Yeah, yeah, the group company. Yeah. Yeah. I think there's there's probably lots we don't know what Elon Musk has planned for that x.com and twitter mm. some things have been hinted online yeah um i mean you look at facebook and their kind of e-commerce side that that is elon's mm. background that e-commerce yeah. payment side um so you just you just don't know maybe, maybe we'll just maybe we'll just follow him on x it, yeah and, follow this journey for and, <laughs> yeah and uh, you know you never know in a, in a couple of hours time you might be seeing something else and yeah, I doubt he'll revert back to 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 Twitter, yeah. but I, you know, you might make another well, change of some kind. We might look on our phones now and just see, like, everything's changed again or something. But yeah, I mean, I I'm just looking on. on I just here say now. like, um, it is weird when you see the X come up. Now they've they've changed the icon. Yeah, <laughs> it, it it may look like a different site to be fair, but like yeah, um. All this thing, if it was supposed to bring people back or like try and regain, um, re like retain followers or yeah. get people, back, I, I was not gonna meet back. I no, just don't. But but it it's so, so. I mean, at the moment, as we said, I mean, I'm just on there now, and it it obviously doesn't look any different. Yeah. Other than when you first log in, there's an yeah. X icon, and I I think that's the point, isn't it? At the moment, all he has done is create this hype. Mm. around a logo to be fair people are talking about it 
I mean, we're talking lot, about that. Right? Yeah, we're, a lot of negativity. I've not seen a lot of positive. But I think all the negativity will always rise above positive stuff because mm. that's what gets clicks and attention and that's what makes people money. Yeah. So, yeah, it's... But I don't think he's done it to be negative either. No, I think it's his changes. But obviously people have reacted how they want to and rightfully or wrongfully. Yeah. And- but people are discussing it. And was like always say there's no like no bad press or what they're saying whatever yeah. that goes like but yeah. he he he's a mar- he's a marketing machine. I mean I, I was just looking at our our site not so long mm. ago and I was thinking when was the last time we wrote wrote a blog or something mm. about new changes on Twitter? What's what's happening with Twitter? Yeah. We haven't in years because there hasn't been any change. Yeah, apart but all from of a like, sudden we've done a blog yeah this week which obviously people can go off and read and mm. i'm sure this will fit into the to the blog very nicely um maybe they'll even listen to to our our chat here yeah. but we've now we we've created content we we're almost kind of doing the twitter x marketing thing mm. now for him and he's done this based on his tweet yeah so i, I think he's won but by yeah us talking about it today he's he's done his job isn't he if if, if he's trying to make money out of it then if this is the step he wants to try and then let, just let it be like yeah. at the end of the day it's only a logo change really yeah and do you think about all the times in the past he's um not been caught out but been called out on some of his posts mm. and what impact that's had maybe on the stock market yeah if 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 a tweet if an x can make that sort of movement from one person's account, that is a, a true marketing mm. channel. And I think this is what we've seen in the last few weeks. Cool. It's marketing. Yeah. I, I, I agree. I think it's... A, a, but instead of paying loads of, like, to marketing companies who have, you know, you'd probably still be forking out a lot of money... It's just one guy tweeting out and just changing a logo and it's just caused all this Absolutely. It's like madness on on well, on his site and mm. others really. So to to wrap this up then, so mm. at the start of this you said that you you're not no longer on nope. Twitter X. At the moment, the X logo obviously isn't enough to attract you back to that platform. Yeah. But are you on threads? I am. Okay. But I think what Fred's did nicely, which I think a lot of social media sites should incorporate, it took everything from my Instagram yeah. and set it up. So I have all the same followers. Yeah. I'm following all the same people. Yeah. It's just made the whole going into a new social media site mm. seamless. So like, if I was to join Twitter now or X, I, I wouldn't know my old password. I would have to start yeah. again because I'm not going through all that. I would have to go follow everyone. like. But that's that's their marketing. That's what they've done yeah. to get you to join. I, I, I wouldn't say I'm super active, but I am on there and I have threaded so, stuff. So so I think we we leave it here for today because mm. you've, You've raised a really interesting point. You're not a user of the one, but you're a user of the other. Yes. A logo is obviously not enough to entice you back to a no. platform at the moment. Weirdly, I don't know. The colors if look okay. You know? That should be your main your main selling point. Is like, oh, come I back know. to us because we know. changed it's, your logo. Yeah, I mean, it's the journey, isn't it? But next time, mm. maybe we do talk a bit more about threads, and maybe I, I'll have the questions for you. You're, you're yeah. the user. You're more active on it than. Well, there's other, like, I think the original creator of Twitter has made his own um, competitor as well now. And I think more people are trying to, where they've seen weakness in Twitter, trying to fill the void now. So people are trying to to play their luck. Yeah. That that kind of social space is is really heating up at the moment. And, And actually, we've probably not had this amount of... No. Activity 
in a while. So watch this space. 